it's time to up the ante. This is the NatWest Schools Cup under-18 semi-finals between Undal School of Northamptonshire and Bromsgrove School of the West Midlands. George Shatterton. Justin Tuzer. Tom Curry into the Bromsgrove 22. There's a chance here for Toby Warner. First try to Undall. Right, Henry Walker. Another try. They're going instead. And this is a response. It's a good response as well. We predicted tries, Dave. We've got two in seven minutes. Right in the heart. Good kick and a great view from us at Pier 2. We had the same view that you did. Well, we talked about packs being the difference. Oh, and that's a mistake. Such great work from Bromsgrove at the other end of the field, and then all of a sudden, straight from the kickoff. Tom Ford making the mistake there, but there was an earlier infringement that the referee spotted, and he's given the penalty here to Undall. So Angus McRae to give Undall the lead once again. This for 8 7. Right in the heart. 8-7 the score. Lost it this time, but still collected by Bromsgrove right at the back. That's what he's there for. And now here's the drive again, Dave. Yeah, well handled this time though by Angle, but here come Bromsgrove, even when they don't have time to set. Henry Walker is the one with the ball at the back of this drive, and he continues to go forward. They continue to drive forward. Walker still there, still there. Is he down? Gotta be. Try. Magic. Absolutely work, try. Magic work from Bromsgrove. That is an absolute coach's delight. 12 8. Becomes 14 8. Shatterton. John's Root. Inside. Mo Norton. Beautiful stuff. Cundell. McNaught. Chatterton. This is, Tom, this is Ben Curry. Advantage to be played as well for, for Undall. It's there for them. Chatterton for the corner. Curry. Back they come for an early penalty, though. Tap and go. Why not? Chatterton. Try. Been given. Ben Curry, the scorer. Angus McRae for the lead. What a great kick that is. What a superb kick. Shatterton. Kick downfield this time from two set. Is down the throat of his opposite number, James Taylor. Good tackle there from Freddie Johnsrud. But ball is out loose. Chase Edwards. The chase is on. The chase could be on. Good tackle again by his opposite number, Toby Warner. But it could be there oh, from the corner. Wow. It is for Alexander Nesbitt. It's a try for Bromsgrove. Oh, counter attack in rugby. Absolutely superb stuff. Support lines and offloading out of nothing. You said the chase was on. 13. Gets the offload away. He's got support runners alongside him. Nothing Oundle can do about that. That is brilliant, instinctual rugby from Bromsgrove. It's over. Great it's over. strike. Wow. The right boots of Luke White. Is white hot at the moment. 22 Bromsgrove with their with the sail, wind in their sails, and is it could be another chance here. It's an awkward bounce, but it goes. Whoa, that was close. And it goes out, and, it, and, and it's breathless stuff again. All of a sudden. Over it goes. Nine points from the boots of Luke White this afternoon. 24 points to 15, Bromsgrove lead. Half. 
And very important, the next score has got to be for the team in white, otherwise this cup semi-final could run away from them. Toby Warner, how's his legs? They're pretty good, he's got one-one to beat here. And he gets Brandon as well, good tackle that was though. Ball is still there though for Undall. But Norton. Game has burst into life once again, and a penalty advantage to come, they win the penalty. Ooh, now, now, Dave, do you, do you take the three points here? Nine points down, 15 minutes to go. I don't think they're going to, but I think they should. Great work from Toby Warner there, because if he hadn't have beaten that man on the outside, he was isolated. He... Big kick, this. Big kick, Vangus McRae. This to reduce the arrears to six points, and they will have a one-man advantage for the next nine minutes. Slotted over. About 10 metres out. Nobody on the blind side, if they go quickly. John T. Thornton was waiting there, but they got a penalty. Over it goes, Bromsgrove, and nearly get the promised land. Cool head there from White. He's had a wonderful second half. <laughs> Bromsgrove are ready to celebrate on the sidelines. They know they're there. Parisi, kick in from Luke White, and there is the celebrations from Bromsgrove, who are in the NatWest Under-18 Cup Final. They defeated Ungle School of Northamptonshire by 27 points to 18. They're one match away from glory. Well, two teams who gave it absolutely everything there today. We said at half-time, would it be the team who were organised who could get the way over the try line over the final line, into the final, or would it be the team with the individual moment of brilliance? In the end, it was Bromsgrove who had both. They had a sensational pack that kept them in control. They had a wonderful fly half, Luke White, who kicked them to victory. And then they had the back line that linked together for that majestic try over in the far corner that ultimately was the difference between the two sides. Bromsgrove march on. Oundle can certainly leave this field with their heads held high. A gargantuan effort and some wonderfully talented players in that team. Unfortunately, they're going to have to wait a little bit longer to make their Twickenham debut because it's Bromsgrove's day and they totally deserve it. Well, Tony, this game was billed as the Battle of the Midlands and the battle it certainly was. Very close right up until the end there. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty fraught at the minute. I think uh, Andal were outstanding today. Uh, and I think that, in all honesty, the game could have gone either way. And, you know, I've just said to the boys there at the end, I think it's testament to them as a group. Uh, they've come through the school together uh, and they've really bought into what we're trying to do within the school ethos of rugby. Uh, and that showed there. I think we showed a lot of character to, not, I wouldn't say hold on at the end, but, you know, we defended our line, you know, tremendously well in that second half. Well, it was certainly a grind, wasn't it? So many good performances from your side, none other than Captain Luke Hunt, of course. His kicking game was so composed. Yeah, yeah, Luke's, Luke's done that for us all year, to be fair to him. You know, he, he's, a, he's a talented rugby player and he knows how to control a game of rugby. Uh, and the pleasing thing to me is he's been at the school, you know, for two years and he, he's continually developed. You know, he, he's got a tremendous attitude. You know, he's always out there practising his kicking uh, and that's paid off today. You know, it's, I suppose people look at Johnny Wilkinson and what he's done and how he practices and Luke's very much like that. He's all weathers. He's out there with the ball kicking in and he's got his just rewards today because he's, he's kicked exceptionally well. Well, obviously, there'll be some celebrations going on for you tonight, I'm sure. Twickenham in a couple of weeks' time. How will you prepare for that? 
Um, yeah, we'll look at that Monday. I think we'll, we'll enjoy the weekend. Uh, the boys give me a bit of stick because every time we, you know, every time we play, I always pick at them and say there's something we can improve on, and we never really sort of celebrate. So I think we'll get tonight out of the way first, and then we'll, we'll worry about next uh, two weeks on Monday. And a bit of a testy one. I won't get you to overcommit, but one internet poll makes you favourites for the competition. Would you care to respond to that? Uh, I, I would disagree with that. You know, you look at Dulwich's co- uh, record in this competition. I, I would. How can they not be favourites when they haven't lost a game in the competition? So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll prepare. We'll, we'll do as best we possibly can, and, and we'll see where we get takes us. Well, whoever you face in the final is set to be a great match. Congratulations, a fantastic performance today. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.